Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. So today I'm really excited because we have another hair tutorial. It's been a while since I posted my last one. And this time we have a new tool that I've been using a lot. I packed this with me to New York. Paris and I just wanted to do like an updated tutorial on how I do my hair. I feel like these blow dry brushes have been so trendy and they're actually surprisingly really easy to use. This is a T3 Airbrush Duo. It comes with two different brush heads. So if you want a sleek, straighter style or if you want a more voluminous blowout, you can do both. Obviously, we're gonna do more of a voluminous blowout. I just trimmed my bangs. I'm gonna show you how I style my curtain bangs. I'm really excited for this video, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So this video is sponsored by T3. I have loved their hair tools for so long. As soon as they came out with this, I just without hesitation packed it with me to New York without even trying it before, just because I knew I was gonna love it. I love the hair dryer. I love the straightener, the curler. Big fan of their stuff. I also do have a discount code that I'll leave right here, but wanted to say a big thank you to T3 for sponsoring this video. So my hair is already like 80 to 90% dry. You don't want to use sopping wet hair because I feel like when my hair is at this level, it's the easiest to dry and work with and it doesn't take super long as well. So for heat protectant, I always use one just because obviously we want to protect our hair. And I feel like heat protectants I normally use are sprays and I just find that these types help my blowouts last a little bit longer, it makes my hair look less frizzy. And this one is the Kevin Murphy Blow Dry Ever Thicken Style Extender. And then for my bangs, I do want to apply heat protectant to them too. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit like that. So just spraying that throughout my hair in little sections and mainly focusing it into the mid lengths of the ends of my hair because we wanna make sure that that part is heat protected. Next, what I would normally do is section my hair and start with the bottom of my hair. But I recently was at the Sephora studios and the hairstylist styled my bangs first. So I'm gonna do that. I feel like usually by the time I get around to doing my bangs, they're already dry and I have to like re-wet them and all that jazz. So we're just gonna kill two birds with one stone. Start with that and I'm gonna go ahead and clip like the rest of my hair back and then just leave my bangs in the front like that. So we have that little situation. It is like pretty dry and for the bangs, you definitely want them to be like wet, wet. So I'm gonna take this, this is just a water spray. It's like an empty Smashbox primer water. And oftentimes I don't buy spray bottles. I just like reuse whatever like empty product they have and just fill it with water, you know? Okay, so you really wanna wet the roots of your hair because that is really gonna affect how the bangs are gonna look. Also, I found this spray bottle already filled with water. I'm like 90% sure it's water, but if it's not, then I just put so much primer water in my hair. So starting off with bangs, this tool is really great because there's so many different heat settings that you can use and there's so much hair in it right now. This button right here affects the airflow and how strong you want the air to be. This one obviously is temperature and this one kind of is an extra volume boost. I don't really use that. I mainly use these two buttons right here. I kind of leave it on the default um, so I'll show you in a second what that looks like, but there's also a power button, obviously, and then a cool shot button. So normally when I turn it on, I just leave it on the default. And then again, if you wanted to use the other brush, it's super easy to pop off. There's like a button right here, twist it off, pop it right on. So if you want a more sleek hair look, you can just use this brush and it's super easy to go through. It dries my hair really quick. And I do have a TikTok that I filmed T3 that I'll go ahead and pop on the screen. But today we are going to use a little blowout tool. This is a kind of like what I mainly use with it anyways, because if I style my hair, I want it to look voluminous. So when I style my bangs, I want to have the bangs kind of like swishy. So starting off, turning on the hair dryer, this is the default. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my bangs around the brush and curl it away from my face. And I'm just going to keep twirling the brush a lot and I'm gonna take it out and redo the section multiple times. That way it really sets the hair in place. Then I'm actually gonna turn off the airbrush and allow the hair to kind of sit in the brush for a second. Once the hair cools, that's when the style really sets in. So here, if you wanna be fancy, you're welcome to do the cool shot button on the other side. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put it in the little curler afterwards as well. So this curler I did get from Daiso. Okay, so bangs are all done. I'm gonna let it sit in there while I do the rest of my hair. 
The curlers are super optional, but again, I find that it makes the biggest difference. The rest of my hair, I'm not going to use it, just so you can see what the hair looks like if you didn't have that at home. But if you guys are interested to see the curlers in action, feel free to watch my other blow dry tutorial. So I went ahead and sectioned my hair into half, and that way we can work with the bottom layers first kind of style that and then we'll move on to the next section so the deal for the rest of the hair is i'm going to use one inch sections at a time and i just find that that way it's easier to manage you don't have like too much hair in the brush but it's enough that the curl really holds for that piece of hair so i like the curls to go away from my face so i'm kind of turning my brush away from my face so with the bangs we're kind of curling this way for the rest of the hair we're turning this way if that makes sense so we have the one inch sections and what we're going to do is wrap it around the brush like so and we're just going to continually swirl twirl and pull and then when i get to the bottom of the hair i'm really just going to do a lot of twirling and then i'll repeat the same thing to the section over and over again and then at the very end i'm going to twirl my hair all the way up so that all of my hair is in the brush i'm going to keep it on for a couple seconds then turn it off and that way the curl can really set in there before I go ahead and pull it out. So when you pull it out, you can unroll it the same way that you had it. And then I actually use my finger to kind of twist it up. So that way the hair kind of has an extra boost of curl and it's going to work my way through the rest of my hair like so. Okay, see? how good that looks oh my god wow so this side is a little bit flatter it kind of just has like a fun little flip at the end which i actually don't mind but honestly we'll leave it at that but when i get to the top half of my hair i'm going to use these curlers so you could see how much more impact and curl and all the potential there is if you do use these Okay, so that is what the bottom of the hair looks like. It's really pretty. It's nothing crazy. It's super subtle because again, we didn't use a curler. So next, let's move on to the next section and I'll show you what we can do with it. Also, I know when you're beginning, it looks really easy the way that I'm doing it. And sometimes it can be frustrating how when you do it by yourself, it doesn't look the same. But honestly, the more you do this, the better you're gonna get at it, I promise you. And the key too when using rollers is you want to make sure you roll it up like right after you blow dry it while the hair is still kind of hot and that way once it cools down that's how it kind of sets down. Okay so that is actually the top half. I am just going to redo the bottom sections just because I feel like we could get it a little bit more voluminous. I actually really like these hair clips as well because I feel like I've seen some that are just Velcro and I feel like my hair doesn't stick in them. So I like that there's a separate clippy. Okay, this is the finished look. My hair has been sitting now for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. This is the most satisfying part. This is my hair afterwards. It looks so smooth. Love the volume and the soft curls, but with the T3 Airbrush Duo, it's so easy to achieve a look like this without any of the frizz. The volume, beautiful. My bangs ended up being a little bit too like out of my face than I wanted, but they have a mind of its own, you know? So I'll probably play with it and get it to look a little bit cute, but this is pretty much the vibe of the hair. During the day, it's gonna fall a little bit flatter, so it'll give more like pretty subtle volume instead of being like so curly and bouncy, which these rollers help us to achieve that. If you like that, leave in the rollers longer. Sometimes I'll do my hair while it's wet, style it, let it sit in here, and then do my makeup. So that way I get that really nice like bounce and wave to my hair, so I love that. So many times while I was styling my hair, I kept trying to look for a brush 
to hold because it felt so weird to just have one attachment. So that's one reason why I love this tool because it really is a two in one. It's a blow dryer and a brush in one. It's so easy to use. It's great to travel with. If you like a more straighter, sleeker style, it's super easy to achieve with the other brush head. But overall, I'm a huge fan of this. I'll go ahead and link it down below as well as any of the other products that I used. If you want to use my discount code, I'll go ahead and leave it right here. So be sure to check that out. But that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this quick little hair look. I've been doing it a lot lately and I get so many questions on it. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up this video before you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.